Well, I tell you, so I left <laughs> Vegas on Saturday. I should tell you my whole story. I got so many stories to tell you, and I see there's a bunch of people on the phone, so I'm confused what to do. There's too much going on, too much input. I left Vegas Saturday. Mm -hmm. I had a meeting. Wait a minute, you haven't even told us about... Oh. Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> All right, so me, Artie... Beth and Dana, that's Artie's girlfriend. And Ralph. And, oh, yeah, well, wait, 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 I'll, I'll tell that story, too. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot about that. Yeah, Ralph came to see me. <laughs> we, we just, me and Artie decided, since we're the only ones left in, in Vegas, pretty much, why don't we just take our broads out for, like, a fun night? We'll go to Siegfried and Roy and then go to a romantic dinner. Oh, okay. You know. So, um, my agent had said to me, though, he wanted to go see Siegfried and Roy. He ended up leaving to go to L.A. to go visit his daughter. Yeah. So I had the extra ticket, and Ralph was hanging around. You know, he never goes home. Well, you told him you would give him a ride home. <laughs> so I let him go to see Siegfried and Roy, and then we couldn't ditch him when we went for the romantic oh, dinner. No. And it was, and, and fi but he, but he did finally bow out. At, at what point after the appetizer? No, 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 no. He he before didn't come with dinner. us oh, okay. before the dinner, but it was like really awkward. I mean, how long before he felt embarrassed enough to leave? <laughs> well, no, he said to me, I'm going to leave. I don't want to be. And I, then I felt bad. You know how that is. Well, Ralph was really cool about it, but I must say, you do stress a lot about that, which is nice of you, but I think Ralph was cool about yeah, it. Yeah, but I was like to Artie, I go, oh, my God, how can we do that? <laughs> yeah, well, you can't you? You're guilty. You're a couple. Why should you feel bad? I don't know, because what, so what? If I was the one guy without a chick... And I had to go home. I would have felt bad. Ralph in Vegas alone is perfectly fine. You have I to know. think of it that way. Well, all right. I think Ralph felt Beth should bow out. Not I should be his <laughs> date. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. For you I, and him. I, yeah, I felt bad. But <laughs> anyway, so we make this plan. Meanwhile, so I get a little dressed up. Dana gets completely dressed up. Oh, Beth she's gets out. Beth gets dressed up. Artie <laughs> shows up in. Mr. Green Jeans farmer outfit. He still had that jacket. No, not that he's wearing these horrible blue jeans. <laughs> like I mean, that like were really like gross, with sneakers and like a, a bowling shirt. No, no, no. I, I didn't have a collared shirt because it's what? Vegas. I don't know. listen to this. <laughs> so Dana went out. You know, she, like you now chicks try to change their guys. Right. She went out and bought a, a shirt down at the Hard Rock, but like she found one with a collar. But it was like one of those Hard Rock bowling shirts. Oh. <laughs> so Artie, oh. I mean, and it's like, what's wrong with his? I'm jeans, thinking though? the whole time we're going to this restaurant called Picasso in Vegas. Yes. I'm thinking the whole time, I don't think we're going to get in because <laughs> Artie's dressed like, like, like literally like he's doing farm work. <laughs> It can't be great for his, his chick's dressed up and like she looks like she's going to the prom. She had a big flower on. And, and Artie uh, doesn't even notice the discrepancy. Like he stands out. Look, uh, Artie, Artie, Artie is so Jersey and such a rube. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell. So we go to this restaurant after Siegfried and Roy. We go to this restaurant, Picasso. They got actual Picassos hanging on the wall. It was nice. Wow. You know, I said to him, "It's a five-star restaurant." When we take these chicks, we get there. Artie's like, "This is the best piece of beef I ever had." You know, like like. He sits down. At lamb chop. <laughs> Listen, to, he sits down. You know how they serve? And they, they, they let him in. They did let him in. I, I think only because he was with me. Well, yeah. They serve Artie like lamb chops. Yeah. He starts, like, attacking the food and eating it even before we get, like, the girls oh, get their dishes. So the girls haven't got their food. Artie has, like, no table manner. Dude, don't you know you're supposed to wait for the girls to start eating? No, why? I mean... They didn't get their food yet. You're just sitting there eating by yourself. Right. Like, attacking this lamb chop. Fork and a knife on the lamb chop? Or did you just... <laughs> the the fork, and, fork and the knife. Halfway through, I did realize that. That nobody was eating but you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm like, Artie's, like, classless. Oh, yeah. I love the guy, but... We, we really have... He's been taken to a new level. He I didn't realize. go places and do things. He has no clue. See, I thought when Artie was working on the Norm Show and stuff and, and, and Mad TV, like, you know, he was making lots of money. Yeah. And I figured, like... like but he, he was, still did the same Jersey right. kind of things yeah. and went to the same Jersey kind of place. He, he's like when you take a little kid to the restaurant for the first time, you got to teach him what to do. And right. I was like, oh, my God. We're I lucky never... are, he doesn't put the napkin in his collar. Well, I never had caviar before. Right. Yeah, that was his first time with caviar, which is fine, you know, and he was excited about it. But, like, wait for the girls to, like, get their food before you start eating. It's a romantic dinner, Artie. You're supposed to do things with I'm the girls. He attacked his lamb chop. 
I got to tell you, he, <laughs> he was, was done with it. Lamp. He was eating with it before they put our food down. Yeah. <laughs> the, the waiter comes over. He says, the chef sees how hungry you are. He's sending over another lamb chop. Oh, they were watching you. Is that true? Him a full second I, entry. This was the most hilarious thing. Uh, <laughs> the waiter actually came over and said, sir, that obviously wasn't enough. We're going to give you another lamb chop. Oh. Remember the Flintstones cartoon? He ate yeah. it like Fred Flintstone. But you know what that sounds like? It sounds like they thought you picked up a homeless guy. We're doing that. <laughs> I'm telling you. Can I just say, though, it was an unbelievable Dinner. lamb chop. Yeah. Oh, my God. The whole well, thing. Well, you had two of them. The waiter might as well come over and say, sir, we see that you're a pig. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did. Throwing you some more. Stuff. Hey, what does Dana do while Artie's eating the Brachiosaurus burger? She looks like a girl who's in shock. Does she try to pretend it's not happening? Does she look the other like, I don't know that Dana knows all that much what's going on, really? but she certainly dresses the part and looks fantastic, and uh, I think she's shell shocked. <laughs> I do. She might be. Yeah. She, <laughs> she might be shell shocked. Oh. But it it's was unbelievable. The, in my defense, it was the end of a trip in Vegas. Okay. What does okay. That have to do with anything? Well, buy I mean, some. But you don't have a pair of slacks. I had to get laundry done. Dude, I, I, you don't own a pair of slacks? I do have a pair of slacks. So why don't yeah. you put those on? I don't feel like bringing them to Vegas. I like oh, oh, you mean, oh, I think, why don't you bring them to Vegas in case you go somewhere yeah, nice? I, I know. Your girlfriend was coming. It wasn't like she surprised you. Well, I realized that I w we were going to go to this Picasso at the end of Vegas. And I said, wow. I, so I actually got the, the jeans washed and ironed. Oh, <laughs> you got to see these. And things. then I said to Dana, I said, hey, we were at the blackjack table. I don't have a collared shirt. I can't wear a T-shirt. So she goes, I'll have to try to buy you one. And she's now shopping. Shopping in the Hard Rock Hard gift Rock shop Hotel, yeah. for a fancy shirt. Yeah, I need a going out shirt. I need me a shirt, woman. I got my jeans pressed. <laughs> and then the sneakers thing. I I felt bad about that. I did. Oh, feel dude. So Artie we... only thinks about what Artie would do. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because then I felt bad because Siegfried and Roy were talking to us. They they wanted what? to meet. They wanted to well, meet Howard. Well, we went to see Siegfried and Roy. Yeah. You that know. was before the dinner. Yeah. And I'm saying to Artie, we can't goof on these guys now because, first of all, they're being so goddamn nice to us. They give us, like, the best seats in the house. Yeah. Siegfried. I actually know the difference between the two of them oh, now. Really? You know one from the other? Yeah. Siegfried. He's the blonde guy. The German guy. The German guy. He, he, the one who you can understand when he talks on stage right, a little bit. Right. He's like, do you know who's here tonight? <laughs> this is yeah, during the show. Good, good. Goes, and what's the rest of the audience look like? Uh, like Artie. <laughs> right. So they go, like older you, versions of me. Yeah, do you know who is here tonight? Do you know King of All Media? <laughs> do you, I wish I had a tape of this. Oh, do you know. Man, now I'm sitting in the audience going. Oh, he's going to start talking about me, and he might. If he brings me up on stage, I'm going to, I'm going to kill him and his lion. <laughs> You're going to attack him. I'm going to attack like him. The tiger never well, he goes. Do you know who is here tonight? <laughs> king of all media. Do you know who King of all media is? Howard Stern is here tonight. Then the spotlight comes on me in the oh. middle of the goddamn gayest show on the planet. <laughs> And they give you two free drinks. Right. I, I hold up my drink. Hey, Siegfried! <laughs> you know, I, I said, I might as well embrace it. Yeah. You know, because I'll look like a douche if I'm just, like, hiding under the right. table. <laughs> so I'm toasting Siegfried from the, the friggin' audience. Oh, dear. Ready to kill myself. <laughs> and there was good applause, and at the end of the night, they said to you, you got more applause than Clinton. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, when we went backstage. Wait, wait, I got to oh, tell you. met them. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. Oh, we met yeah, them. There's a whole story here we're missing. Well, so anyway, the manager was real nice. He, like, gives us these great seats. Sends over a photographer. Like, the, like you know those ladies that take pictures and right, give you pictures? Right, right, when the, the, you get the party picture. Give us a party picture, <laughs> which I abruptly ripped up. <gasps> yeah, you did. Beth was pissed. I look so bad. Oh. I, it was a it was way too close to none of my good side. You know, you you chicks are the one who rip up pictures. No, Guys I rip. rip up I rip. When you have a face like this, you rip up pictures. You ripped yours up immediately. Yeah, oh, I was disgusted with it. You know what though? I thought it was a nice shot of me, even with it the shirt. It was good. You look good. <laughs> You'll never have it though. Yeah. Um, and the woman's even posing us like it's a prom. Uh huh. Put your elbow on the table. Yeah, yeah she knows how to get the best. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, so afterwards they go, we want, please wait here because Siegfried and Roy want to meet you. <laughs> oh, so they keep you at the table? No, we go backstage. Oh, okay. 
They escort me, Artie, Dan, and Beth backstage. But you don't even tell us what you thought of the show. What am I going to say? <laughs> I mean, it, these two guys come out. They have the costume changes, like chicks. Yes. And, and did you big, see the cod pieces? Yeah. That's I, the funniest. Do you know we've been doing this for 35 years? Yeah. And I'm like, you're kidding. You've been getting away with that? <laughs> that well, happened. You know what they do? They work the crowd. At one point, I think it's Roy. He goes into the crowd and goes, where are you from? And they go to New Jersey. He's like, ah, what exit? <laughs> <laughs> they got material. They do. He does they do. stuff like that. <laughs> And the rest is them, you know, pointing at a cage that doesn't have anything in it, and then smoke comes up, and then there's a lion in the cage. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, it's and, fun. And a lot of people dancing around through all of Tons. this. Stuff. Right. Tons. They do that rope trick, you know, when you cut the rope and right. you tie it yeah. together. And yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of sawing people in half. Yes. I mean, it's not. There's not one trick that you've never seen before. Whatever. So they were real nice to us. So I said to Artie during it, I go, I can't goof on these dudes because they're, they're, they're rolling out the red carpet for us. They're giving us free drinks. They're giving us, you know. Now that's a shame. You should have bought your tickets. I know. So you could go. It was the dumbest thing I ever did. <laughs> we go backstage. And they tell us to wait for Siegfried and Roy, and I'm like, okay. Oh, I you did you get into the dressing room? No, no we're in the hall, like okay. outside the dressing room, and I was like, Okay, you know, we're gonna wait and everything, and then Siegfried and Roy come out. You know, and I mean, it, those guys are really pulled back, you know, facially. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't think they remember what they look like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and like they were very nice to us. But then all of a sudden the manager goes, um, we want you to take pictures with Siegfried and Roy. So we're taking pictures. All right, cool. And they go, uh, there's a big charity thing. We need you to sign some pink. What was it? Pink rabbits? Yeah. Pink, oh, a pink rabbit. Like stuffed uh, animals. Yeah, and they went, all right, okay. You know, like now I'm. So, uh, and you're all tied in. All right, it's for charity. Okay. Then they go, we need you to take a picture with the pink rabbit to prove that you signed the pink. Oh. So now I'm like, this is getting uh, gayer and gayer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm signing pink rabbits and taking pictures, taking with, pictures them. with them. As to, for charity, we'd like you to make out with Siegfried. <laughs> now you're, you're going to kiss a man. Yes. For charity. Mm. They were nice, you know, like they saw a bathroom. They were like, you have good taste. <laughs> I was like, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't come out in the cod pieces. What are they wearing? I don't know. Well, did you did you know? Yeah, you could look. You were really, they, they were ignoring Artie. They, I was the famous one, right, so they put, right. they put a lot of attention on me. Attention. They were dressed to the nines, which made me feel even more insecure about what I was I wearing. I mean, were they like now in suits? I mean, you know what it was, Robin? I'm in like that outfit uh, Howard just described, and those two guys look like Diana. Oh, oh, no, feathers and bones? Yeah. yeah, I mean, they were really done up. <laughs> and Siegfried said to me, who is your farmer friend? <laughs> <laughs> what the crops does he grow? <laughs> is that Mr. Green Jeans? I think it's nice that you hang around with people who work with their hands. <laughs> Come here, Siegfried. <laughs> have us some fun. Does Roy say anything? Uh, yeah, talk. Roy talk, Roy was talking to me the whole time. I don't know one thing. He, one time he walks up and he goes, yeah, you know, to go to the And I go, yeah. And he went, and it, obviously he was asking me a question. And I wasn't going to say, could you, I said to him at one point, can you repeat that? And he went, blah, 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 blah. even on stage, you don't know. What he, yeah. and, you know, they, they, uh, they, fucking Chinese. They kissed, the, the down, though. they kissed both of the guys bah, 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 on both of their cheeks, like really pronounced this, this, like that right. European, like, come here. And they kiss them on each cheek. They were really nice. Those, but we're taking pictures. And then the whole, all those dancers needed to take pictures, oh, too. Yeah. Because that's a big show. Mm. The other thing is they're both about like five foot two. I was going to ask, are they very short? Because up on the yeah. stage you can't really tell. <laughs> yeah, we could tell. They're short. Okay. I, I mean, I never could tell whether they were short or tall. Yeah. So they're these little men. I couldn't really evaluate. I was busy signing pink bunnies. The farmer doesn't need to sign the pink bunny. No pictures with the farmer. Yeah, leave please. the farmer out. <laughs> the farmer. This attractive girl is fine, but the yeah. farmer, no. Yeah. We never take pictures with farmers. Dude, you need to go shopping. Hey, I'd like to publicly thank Picasso for the second lamb chop. Though. <laughs> it was it was great. If Artie had looked better, they wouldn't have sent out more food. You know what, man? I, you're I'm right. Like, Artie, you want a little wine with dinner? He goes, no, I'll just drink Jack Daniels. Yeah. He's... Well, I don't drink wine. I like Jack Daniels. I mean, what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> he's it's not possible no. to bring him that far that fast. <laughs> Can I say something? You're not going to believe this, but I was self-conscious about that. Good. I noticed. I that was self-conscious. I noticed that I was a tad underdressed. 
I was oh, self-conscious but the food for you. Thing yeah. didn't bother you that you were eating and. Yeah. Artie, you're 35. Get a pair of slacks. I know, man. Just I have a it. pair of slacks. I just never bring anything to Vegas. I, but I, I don't it. understand. You invited your girlfriend. You knew you were going to be hanging out with her. Robin, everything you're saying makes complete sense. Yeah. <laughs> He's not arguing with yeah. him. <laughs> I think I didn't bring this up. You're right. It was a fun uh, night, though. Oh man. That's funny. Well, I'm glad you got to see Siegfried and Roy. Yeah. yeah. They were cool. I also got to see Stuttering John's toenails while I was out there by the pool. Oh, and i got to tell you something. They're not any better? Oh, like, wow. Like Beth was throwing up. Everyone was just like... Disgu- it, they're, I thought he got pedicures. They're now. so long, they're bent over the toes. Yeah, they curl. They curl down, and it's just gnarly. And it's like, dude... Dude, you know what? It's not even funny. It's just not cool. You know, it was very difficult because you guys went to gamble, and I got to hang out with Beth and Dana and Melissa. And the rap with you was your toenails. And they were all hot, and they all started noticing my toenails. And I well, why don't you just clip them? I know it's your... your what is no, it? No, 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 no. I totally just... I usually get pedicures. I forgot. And it just, but how could they grow that, that long? long. They, they were like shears. I mean, well, can't you buy a clipper? And you know what it is? He's got uh, OCD. No, it's not that, Harry. Yes, it is. You can't clip your own toenails. No. It's got to be. Why would you not clip your toenails? You're walking around like a like a like How does a. How he keep his shoes? It's and not the summer on. yet. Who thinks about their toes? I'm not. I do. When they get long like that, it's uncomfortable. You, yeah, doesn't that hurt inside your shoes? You look down and see. Of course your toes? I do. I, I but you don't shower. I never like. You don't groom yourself. I don't look at my toes. It's the last thing I'm thinking about. You can't feel that. <laughs> I was embarrassed. Can I just say it's something? I'm, I'm Your clearly... wife doesn't say something. Well, she she saw them, and when, as soon as she saw them, she grabbed a toe clipper and started clipping. Well, why don't you grab a toe clipper? You're like a baby. <laughs> I didn't see. Them. A goddamn baby. Look at yourself. <laughs> why well, the girls noticed it that bad? They get don't... aware. I'm, I'm clearly a up. I'm clearly a slob, but John takes it to another level. <laughs> I was by the pool eating French fries out of a big basket they give you. Give you a basket <laughs> oh, of French fries. It was unbelievable. And first of all, I'm sitting by the pool with Artie and Dana. Dana is cute as can be in a little bathing suit, yeah. great body. I can't even describe to you. Her body's kick ass, oh, right? She was in a white bathing suit. I, yeah. I checked the whole. Thing. Okay, me too. <laughs> okay, Artie is at the pool. He's wearing pants, long pants, a, a heavy shirt. And socks. Oh. Like he won't even show his feet. <laughs> He's completely covered. Completely covered. I'm saying this poor bastard lose some goddamn weight because he just can't sit by a pool and enjoy himself. Yeah, he's got to be out there sweating. Artie, you want to chase? He's sweating. Sweats. You want to chase lounge completely dressed like the mummy? It's so heartbreaking, dude. I'm sorry, man. I know. I'm not a so healthy guy. I'm not a healthy guy. The food comes over. And he's eating. He's got a basket of fries, like King Tut. He's laying on the chaise lounge, and the fries are going in. I'm thinking, he's only getting fatter. First of all, they have amazing French fries there. And they bring a basket French fries of them. shouldn't even be allowed to go near your mouth. They bring a basket of them. How big is the basket? Oh, you oh like, like, like you ever go to Nathan's and they got that right, big basket right. of fries? Oh, oh. You and they put... bring him extra because he's with the show, you know. <laughs> yeah. Would you like more fries, Mr. Lang? But you had to see this. I'm sitting there eating the French fries. John had just been jogging. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and he John... comes over sweaty as hell, and right next to my basket of fries, takes off his socks. You know yeah, when your I mean, feet are sweaty? Yeah. Oh, so uh. I see his toenails. You know when your feet are sweaty? <laughs> so disgusting. Like sometimes a fuzzle gets stuck to your toe from yes, the socks? Yes, yes. So that happened, and when he took the sock off, the fuzzle flew onto my French fries. Oh, Not only that, he oh. takes off his shirt, he's sweating, and he goes, <laughs> So Artie says to him, can you like, get undressed over there? And, like, and John's like, well, what's the big deal? He got mad at me. He's like, what's your problem? <laughs> He had three you fries know, left. I, I applaud Mr. X for spilling water Harry, on you. You're fries. disgusting. He had three why fries left. But why do you have to be... his room shower yeah, and then come Rinse off, pool. dude. No one wants to watch you. <laughs> You're gross and your toenails. I mean, I'm not talking about... You know, the who what guy cares about toenails? Talking about, like, grown over the whole foot. Oh, we've seen that. <laughs> well, my picky... Mr. Though. X should have lit you on fire. <laughs> You're lucky. I really wish he had. I, I was offended by Mr. X's actions, and now I, I get know, it. I know, I know, but you, you, we have become immune until you go out of this environment wow. and see him in the real world. But you know what's really... Vile. Yeah. I can't believe we, we, I, just, I didn't do anything. I just. I, but you, don't, you never do anything. You don't offend anyone. I sat down. You sat down, you undressed, and put your smelly clothes and feet and everything in everyone's face with your stink. You got a fuzzle on Artie's fries. Fuzzle. Yeah, and I barely finished them after that. <laughs> oh, it was just yes, unfriggin' believable. <laughs> but it was fun to hang out with the girls by the pool. They looked beautiful. Yeah. Beth looked great in a bikini. I didn't think you were leering at all, but I guess you were. No, no, I checked out everything. Yeah. <laughs> 
I said, you've gotten used to John's lyrics. Yeah. You don't even know. I, I thought Dana called me once because, was, <laughs> you know how you forget what you're looking at? And I was just like staring, staring. at her crotch. Like, I look over <laughs> Dana and I see this beautiful girl and I go, Artie's on top of her at night. And, oh. then I look at Beth and I go, I'm on top of her at night. Oh. And I'm like... Yeah, but don't you think, like, Dana, like, like, she, you, do you think she is into Artie's look? It can't be, right? But Artie, but I think, you know, Artie, you could get, like, like long, a long bathing suit. Yeah. Yeah, like, like those pants that go down to your knee. With, like, a Hawaiian shirt. And, you know, even Belushi, I know that's your hero, did that. I mean, I mean it wasn't even like, I mean, you know. Dude, you were wearing socks. You know what's tragic about it for me was I, I was an athlete when I was younger, and I, I just had a horrible time in my 20s and gained a lot of weight. And but stuff. everyone what, knows. What's wrong with your feet? Yeah, I mean, you are your feet no, my, no, odd? My feet, no. Are you sweating, winging socks? I actually have beautiful feet. So why didn't you show them? I mean, because I don't know. Get a little know. air on them. It was a thrill. He was, he was like the mummy by the pool. You had to see. I wish I had a picture. And then he's got that, that tons of chest hair coming out of the shirt. You see oh, that? the chest hair is <laughs> bubbling over. I do, have a lot of, I do have a lot of chest hair. <laughs> hey, that's masculine. Which, yeah, that, people, Dana finds sexy. Which is right. going gray. You couldn't even see <laughs> his chains on you. You notice that? You couldn't see his big chains and cross. <laughs> How, you notice that? Like, the chest hair is so long and hairy, but it's going gray. Some of them it is. So I got sticking gray. out of the flannel. I got gray chest hair. How about the pool scene at the Hard Rock Hotel? It, what they do is they have the strippers. They give them free passes to like is hang out by the pool. What it is? There were so many hot chicks. That's why I wanted to go down and hang out by the pool, but it was a madhouse. Because there was one day, I know. Did you hear that morning? Well, you were on the other side of the hotel, I think. But there was one morning that there was must have been a bunch of wild girls there, and they were screaming out their windows. No. Oh. And you open the door, and you see these chicks in cowboy hats just screaming and, and I guess, yeah. threatening to flash. Oh, really? So every door on that side of the hotel opened. I don't know. I was down by the pool. I look up, and I see this, like, naked guy rubbing up against oh. the window because you know he can see into all the windows. Uh -huh. And then Ralph calls me. goes, hey, you see me? I'm naked. That was Ralph. Oh, that was Ralph. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I got to say, we got to give the hard rock props. That pool scene, first of all, they have Fantastic. Well, swim it is up an blackjack. incredible pool. Yeah, they did you swim up and play blackjack? I did. I played some craps outside. How could you swim up when you were not even in a bathing suit? Well, I mean, I, I played there, but other <laughs> people were swimming, <laughs> swimming up. He didn't swim up. To yeah, the right. swim up. It's, uh, and uh, there's chicks all over the place, and mm -hmm. the food is very good. Did Obviously. You leave up, powered yeah. or down? I was down, but I, I had an incredible craps roll. I was telling Artie, that was the best role. Artie and I were at a table with these but, dudes. you know, you're getting to be like those gamblers talking about the incredible role, but ultimately you lost. No, no, I lost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, to give that guy props, I remember his name was Dahl. That's what he said his name was. Oh, yeah, this guy Dahl, who Dahl. rolled for over 45 minutes, I think. Yeah. Why don't you take the money and leave? I did. I had to leave. I went to Arizona. No, but you lost money. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? Pay, I, I don't know what to say. You paid a Vegas cover charge. That's all. That's fine. <laughs> I even resented that little while that Artie played for me. It, I mean, he couldn't have been there five minutes to make that money. And then you're supposed to tip. I, by the way, I tip the dealer so much money because everyone says I don't. Right. Every time I get up, I, I was down. But any time I even just like win anything, even 50 bucks. Because everyone's saying, yeah, but I'm like, I don't get that concept. They just raped me. Right. Now I got to come up with fifty you a bucks. Time when you lose. Yeah. yeah. If you lose, you you shouldn't have to do that. Mm. Uh, 